Hey guys, what's up? So, I told you this week was going to be a busy one for the Buell. Um, I got a nice little package in the mail. Yay! So now, um, I'll get these installed. Where do I got the plugs in there? It just gets easier from here, so I'll install the plug wires. And um, it's a pretty tight fit. I don't think I'm going to... Actually, I, I know I'm not going to show you me doing that because all you would see is my arms and my back in the way of the camera. There's no way you get a good shot of what's going on. So um, I'll just show you the aftermath. Um, the air cleaner will also be on when I'm done. So this will be a relatively short video other than me talking and carrying on and saying whatever I'm going to say, but maybe even some of the things I ran into that uh, caused me a problem. But anyways, so I'm going to get this, these installed air cleaner installed and then we're gonna start this sucker up because it's been way too long for me since I've heard it run I will not be able to ride it because I still don't have the foot pegs in they should be here tomorrow according to uh, tracking so yeah um, but once the foot pegs in I'll be able to ride it but today is just about getting these plug wires on and starting the engine, letting you guys hear it, and also allowing myself to hear it because, you know, it's been a solid week and a half since I've heard it run. And uh, yeah, I'm Jones and I'm Jones and really bad. So, all right, guys, so I'm gonna uh, shut the video off and then uh, we'll come back whenever I've got everything buttoned up and ready to go. All right, guys, so it took me about um, 30. 30 to 40 minutes to get to where I'm at now. Um, got everything pretty much buttoned up. I don't have the um, mm -hmm. air cleaner. I actually have the air cleaner on, but I don't have the uh, tank cover on yet, just to show you guys what's up. Um, so, full disclosure, I accidentally, <laughs> I, got, I got halfway done. Had the air, air cleaner assembly on, I, it wasn't bolted down. And I thought, well, I'll just give it a test fire just to see if I'm okay. Yeah, no, no good, no go. Um, well, dummy me, I forgot to connect the coil. So I connected the coil, kicked it over once, and uh, fires right up. It's running rough, it's been sitting, um, and I fired. I tried to fire it a couple times with no spark, so I'm sure the plugs are a little bit wet. Anyways. So here we go. I'm going to start it up and uh, let's cross our fingers that everything is hunky dory still because, you know, stuff moves around, whatever. All right, here we go. Oh, also, this right here, don't like it. Um, it's, I got I to gotta figure that out. So I'm going to be replacing that with probably just a nut and a washer. It's got washers underneath it because it's not, um, the threads aren't deep enough to, to really bite into the uh, all thread that's poking up, you know, the stem that's poking up to, to catch all that. So um, I'm gonna run, I guess, one of these days and go to uh, the hardware store and buy, buy just a nut that fits that and uh, rock and roll. So, all right, without further ado, here we go. Cross your fingers.
wait to be able to ride it for real. Like, go for a long ride. Sounds really good. It's running well. No funky smells from the engine. Obviously, it's running a little fat because it's uh, still warming up. Man. Super, super, super excited about this. So, anyways, thanks you guys. Appreciate you uh, tuning in. Stay tuned. Probably have another video here tonight. The uh, hand grips will be in at some point. I'm going to turn the camera around. You don't want to look at me. You want to look at the bike. Hand grips will be in. I'll do a video of installing those. Uh, we'll go from there. Hey, we're back. Get everything buttoned up. This is what the bike looks. 80% complete. I say 80% because I don't have that part and I don't have, at this point, the most important part and that are the foot pegs. Um, but, we have the top end all buttoned up. Oh yeah, I gotta put the mirrors on, but that's after the hand grips show up. So that'll be another video probably tonight. I'll uh, stagger these in terms of publishing on YouTube. So you're not getting everything in one window, but anyhow, yeah, man, we are so close, so close. It's killing me, it's killing me, it's killing me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so. I know lots of people are big fans of Plasti Dip. I don't like it. I mean, it's it's okay. Don't get me wrong. This will I can make do with this, but and I know this isn't typical of Plasti Dip. Maybe it is. Maybe this is what everybody does with Plasti Dip, but um, yeah, I don't I don't dig it all that much. So we'll uh, I'm going to be looking forward to having the new tank lid to put on that'll be carbon fiber. So. All right, guys, seriously, this time, this is the end of this video. Look forward to seeing you again very soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss anything. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to daydream for a little while until my hand grips show up and I get the mirrors on. Until then, peace out.